Okay, I just want to talk about how um, one of the other things I like to use is I like, I created these all these little characters. Um, and when I talk about making proteins, I use a little animation, this, all these little animations I created to show my students how um, making a cake is very similar to making a protein. I talk about how the neighbor, let's say you went to a really tasty potluck, and your neighbor had this recipe for how to make a cake. He had basically, um, you know, the information, the directions on how to make that cake is very similar, like going inside um, the nucleus and getting the DNA, which would be your neighbor in this case, and the house would be your neighbor's house. And you'd be getting that information to eventually um, be able to uh, make your cake. And this is how messenger RNA is made from DNA, and you get that recipe. You can see right here on the back, here's messenger RNA um, that would carry the um, information on how to make a cake, which it received from the DNA. Okay, and so if you see right here, here's the cake. If you flip it over in the back, um, a cake is very similar in a sense to making a protein. It's just my comparison. Um, it's just to help kids familiarize and, you know, give them some idea of kind of how, you know, if, if they're familiar with how to make a cake and the directions and stuff, then it kind of gives them something to connect to when they're learning about protein synthesis since it can be such a complex process. And then right here you can see all my other little animations I talk about. I say, well, what makes up a cake? Is it just one ingredient? My students will say, no, you know, it's several. I'll say, right, you got, ma you got milk, flour, butter, sugar, and all this stuff. And that's the same when you're making proteins. Proteins are also made up of lots of ingredients. And what they are is lots of different kinds of amino acids. So I like this because it's a visual I can use. And then the students can use this to kind of go through and read it after I'm done lecturing and compare what it's like. And then they'll write in with the partner what the answer is and what they compare to. Um, and then up here, they get to go, go ahead and practice this with a, another student and fill in the blanks. And you can see right here, and then we talk about where you're going to make your cake. You make your cake in the kitchen, and this is like proteins are made in a ribosome. And so I like this. We talk about how also the person that could bring you the ingredients is like tRNA. Uh, if you flip it over in the back, because he brings you in the amino acids. And then the answers and stuff are included, but this is one of my favorite things to do um, when I'm teaching about proteins. Another thing I like is I like